This is uptown Chicago, where I came up. But no one ever really gets to come up in uptown. See, this is the area where I grew up is what I mean. I attended Joan Wright Middle School where Mrs. Davis told me every day how I was never going to be shit at all. And my mama, rest her soul, worked at the Aldi's on Broadway for 20 years. She worked 12 hour shifts, six days a week, and told me all growing up how I was better off selling drugs than working for some disrespectful last salary. You might say she was bitter, but I can't say that I blame her. Now that's me. They call me Lil E. And not that anyone ever really gave a fuck, but this is my story. Put your left foot in front of your right foot and walk with me Through the city of Shy, where the vultures be Have you heard of the city crime? Sociologists be telling me the city died From all the murder and gang banging and drug dealing Every 30 hours they find another body with some slugs in them And ain't no blood in it This the ill state nigga and ain't no love in it I fold, man. Hey, Joe, I'm finna roll this bag of weed, and I'll probably be up, Lord. Hold up, Joe. Man, y'all some hoes, man. Now, that's my man, white folks. See, white folks' daddy was a well-known pimp in Uptown, so he was born with a real slick mouthpiece and a gift of cuff a bitch. He stayed around all them GDs. Now me, I'm a lord, CVL to be exact, and typically I probably wouldn't be so close to a cat like this. But one thing about white folks though, he was a reliable stand-up guy. Man, y'all some hoes, man. Always fold when you think a nigga got some. Get some nuts, man. Give me this money. Hey, Joe. You should let me sprinkle a little something on that weed, man. Listen, man. I do not put no motherfucking coat on my motherfucking weed, man. Quit asking me that shit. Go easy on me, Joe. I've been wiping my ass with newspaper for the last two weeks. The drought got a motherfucker real fucked up. Little coat should be my worst problem. Shit, who you telling? Police been in these corners every five minutes in the spot? I can't even get my shit off. Hey, that's somebody at the door for you, see? For me? Yeah, for you, Joe. Yo, what the fuck? What's up, Hey, damn. I've been looking for you all day, man. You all on some shit, yo? Man, didn't I tell your hype ass don't be hunting me down, man? I'm saying, man, look, Joe, I got this Game Boy. Oh, Game Boy? I'm saying, man, look, dog, I touched you. Man, 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 get the fuck from over here. Saying, man, 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 look, I'll wait for you outside. Man, I'll beat your goddamn ass you out there when I get out there. Man, I'll be right downstairs. <laughs> See what the fuck I mean, man? Motherfuckers coming over here with Game Boys and shit. Ain't no motherfucking money over here, man. I'm finna bounce. Where you finna bounce to? Shit, I'll probably leave in the morning, man. Go down to Houston, kick it with Pancake for a minute. That's a long ass trip to take by yourself, man. Shit, you might as well ride with me. I don't know what the fuck you trying to stick around here for. Man, I'm getting up at about 10.30, man. You just ride down on me at the crib. I'll be ready. I'll ride with you. I got you. Don't even trip. Now, Pancake was one of our guys who ran down to Houston a couple years back from a case he knew he was finna lose. So this nigga stayed in the house down there 24 hours a day. No exaggeration. When we were down there for this particular visit, Pancake put us up on what he called the yellow. His prescription name was Tussinet. It was a real thick yellow cough syrup that tasted like the best candy in the world. 
Y'all probably heard of it by a street name, Sir or Scissor. And down south, these niggas got whole CDs dedicated to that yellow. So me and white folks spent the better half of a week stuck on Pancake Couch, loving this shit. Now I smoke herbs. But I'm spooked to even fuck with most of the shit floating around like ecstasy and all that shit. But seeing how damn near everyone I met in Houston was loving this shit, I had to see what all the fuss was about. Pancake love him some syrup. You got that shit right. Hey E, let me get a light. Man, I remember when I first tried that shit in Memphis. Ever since I fucked with that yellow, I ain't fuck with the purple since. Man, this shit is good as fuck. Now let me tell you what it do. First, it gets you completely relaxed like you just finished skeeting on the whole face. Closest thing I compared to is when I got shot up and they had me hooked up to that morphine button for the pain up in County Hospital. But this was even better. Man, I got a shit. No, I'm right back. I'm right back. And that's when it hit. You know what, Joe? What's that? If a motherfucker had a connect on this shit back around the way, it'd be easy as hell to get this shit out. I'll be your first custy. I bet Pancake know a lot of motherfuckers we could get more than just a bottle from. All we gotta do is pick a street like Ashland or Cicero, Pulaski, something that runs straight through. Been down on every motherfucker we know. Yeah, Pulaski sound good. Nah, you know what, you know what I'm saying? Western be the good one to use, man. On its own, it was a DSO idea, but folks took it up a notch by coming up with some old Western Nav shit. See, Western Nav isn't no ordinary street. Western Avenue in Chicago is the longest running uninterrupted city street in the United States of America. It starts on the pole at Howard and ends 25 miles later in the Wild Hunnets at 119th. So damn near every gang in Chicago has a strip somewhere near Western at one point or another. So here's how we do. We start up north at Howard and Western and get with them GDs from the jungle. Then we got the Vikings from Ashton waiting on lunch. The post from Budlong was meeting us on Falcon. And white folks knew some old school warriors from Greenleaf who would meet us on Wilson and Western. Them Eagles from over there by Lakeview had Irvin Park. And the deuces from Claiborne was meeting us up on Belmont across from the 19th district. I was trying to get some of them Project Latin Kings from the Lathers to plug with me on the verse, but they weren't quite sold on the idea yet. The IGs from Kimball was on Fullerton, and them Latin lovers from Milwaukee and California was getting stocked on Armitage and West. Folk served community service with some of them MLDs from the Twilight Zone, so he locked them down for North and West. And the Cobras from Division and Maplewood was at the corner of the village. I had my C's from the Ave meet me on Chicago, and some SD's was coming from California to meet us on 18th and West. The two sixes off Washington had 35th, and my cousins from the town was meet me on 51st. Them Crown Town Kings got stocked on 55th and West, and the BD's was at 63rd. Then we had some Pocket Town Breeze meet me on 69th by the Real Shack, and some of them disciples from the Killer War was at 79th and West. Finally, I was introduced to some Foster Park modes who would wait on 87. And both my uncles stayed in the Wild Hunter, so I had them plugging with everyone they knew. 
Pancake plugged us with a dude who got a cold ass nick on prescription drugs out of Mexico, seeing as that's where most of Houston was getting it from. Me and folks made a couple trips back and forth, and also got us a couple hot shipments through FedEx. So the next six weeks or so was spent with us selling the idea to some of these chiefs and giving away some free samples so they could feel exactly what we was talking about. I promise you, I felt like a motherfucker holding a winning lottery ticket. Now let's not get off into some old fantasy shit. As you know, every good story got to have a villain, and my story is no different. Now who are these two goons getting faded up, you might ask? Well, that there is Buck, and his right hand got side. These two motherfuckers right here fucks Timmy Vay and Jeff Dom up for the number of bodies up under they belt. They was a couple traveling vice stores from the Harrison Courts right there off California Avenue who found their way up north a few years back when they heard the money was getting good up here. By law, these niggas supposed to have love for me, but I'd have been a damn fool to believe that shit for a minute. Now, every neighborhood got a couple of goons like these two, the type of killers to pull some shit on their own people in broad daylight without a mask Go talk about it to everyone they know and think nothing of it. Buck by himself had been shot up on three, four occasions and locked up more times than I can count. Word on the poll was that these two was the ones responsible for leaving dude in them in that garage thanking for that dro and that loot. Hey, let me see this sunny caution right here in this uh, camp. What y'all asking for the scalp one? $15.99 plus tax. Damn, y'all hot in the motherfucker. You can't do nothing better for me on that? Nope. That's it, man. Hey, what's up, sir? That package came in for me today, man? Nah, I got it. say come through yet, dog. Because we gotta stop doing this, man. We gotta keep it on the low, man, because the boss is starting to be suspicious. Oh, don't even trip, man. It's the last time, I promise, man. Here go 50 bucks, though, man. I really appreciate everything you done done for me, cuz. Straight up. Oh, good, man. I'm just letting you know I'm done, you know? Oh, man, get the fuck from over here, man! Get gone! Man, this motherfucker been chasing me all day, man. That's some fucked up shit, dog. I'm gonna beat his ass. That's what the fuck I'm gonna do. Here, go to FedEx, man. Thanks a lot. Okay. Okay. They had that shit? Yeah, it just came right now, man. But she is served in that trip and talking about this ball found out. So this is probably the last time we get one of these. Who the fuck is that? I don't know them stuff. I don't know them. See, that's exactly what the fuck I'm talking about, yo. Motherfuckers hip to what we doing. You don't need more than a nine apiece, yo. This ain't no little shit no more. Right, I feel you, man. Shit, I got it. Don't even trip. The worst on the worst. Don't have to go over that that cuckoo house. Cuckoo? Don't you owe him some cheese? I do. Shit, you don't. Who that? The E. Who? E! Hey, Joe, it's white folks. Open up, Joe. Man, motherfucker stole my pack, man. Stole your pack, man. Yeah, hey, stole Joe. my pack, man. Hey, Joe, you got some nice plan? Just get us the second one, Joe, and we get you for both of them. We get you for the first and the second. Man, go on. Man, I ain't pulling no move, man. I'm glad I got you, man. I got you. It's fine. I know. 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 Bless me with a bullet to the bag, but niggas I ain't going out like that. These hands is quicker than the ice 
so why try to flatter me with battery when all I gotta do is Now the north and the south side strips were pretty much locked down. But we were still having some issues with the four corner hustlers in the Rockwell Gardens and with them Project Kings as well. I had a pair of visit to my guy, Big Rap, who was a traveler off Cal. He had did a bid with a few of them cats and I knew he could help. Get off my damn dog. I wanted to get the goddamn chicken and shit. That motherfucker get in the way. I got it. Man, you still scattered my puppies, man? Man, I don't fuck with no pits, Joe. What you feeding them? Man, them dogs ain't thinking about you. Bring your scary ass in here, man. Joe, you off in the cut this rip. I had trouble finding you. What made you move all the way over here? Motherfucking cameras on the avenue. That's what made me come. I ain't trying to get no indictments, period. Plus, just low key, man. You know what I'm saying? I got a little spot for my dogs now and shit. Ain't no police action and shit or none of that, man. But anyway, what was you talking about on the phone, man? I'm saying, man, I got this cape on finna get on. And the only thing stopping me is, man, I need a good connect over there in the gardens, man. And them Project Kings are not fucking me at all. See, I can get you right, Will, right? That ain't no problem, right? What I'm trying to figure out, though, how you so motherfucking concerned with Western, right? When there's so much money on Cicero and Pulaski. Look, I hear what you saying, man, but I already told you what I'm on. I already got 85% of this shit through. All I need is the last 15 from you, and I'm super straight. 